Hi, and welcome to another tutorial. In today's lesson, we'll learn how to recreate this cool looking 3D spinning logo effect using Adobe Illustrator and After Effects. So anyways, guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that we're gonna need to create here is a logo. Now, I've got a logo here that I've created in Illustrator using some of the 3D tools that are available and you can get some nice looking effects. So what we need to do is we need to create this shape. So I'm just gonna open up a new document. I am going to grab the line tool, make sure you set your stroke to one. I'm just gonna draw a line down. I'm gonna hold shift to make sure that it's straight. Then I'm gonna grab the selection tool and I'm just gonna bring this out probably around about, you know, maybe 85 pixels, something like that. And then I'm gonna duplicate it uh, one, two, three, four, five, six times. So once you have that, just move it um, more into the middle over here. And then I'm just going to angle it probably around 240 degrees. Once I've done that, we can right click and we can go to transform, uh, reflect, and we're just gonna leave it as a vertical reflection and we're just gonna press copy. Once we have that, then what we need to do is I'm just going to grab the line tool and I'm just going to draw a line like this and I'm just going to put it right there so it kind of fits there nicely. And then I'm going to do the same for this bottom edge down here. So now that I have all of that, all I need to do is click on the shape builder and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to swap the fill to a black, uh, black fill over here and then wherever you want to start. Cool. So now once you have that, all you need to do is just select the logo. I'm just going to press command C to copy and I'm just going to paste it in a new document. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab the selection tool and I'm going to turn it around just like that. Then I'm going to grab the direct selection tool and I'm just going to grab one of these points. I'm just going to bring them up closer together just so all the edges are curved. And I think that looks pretty cool. It looks a little bit different to what I started with initially, but I, I don't mind. Now we're going to change it to 3D. So what we need to do for this is we need to open up the 3D and materials uh, panel. Now, if you don't see that, you can go to window 3D and materials. And then once you're in there, you need to click on your shape. You need to go to inflate and you need to inflate both sides. And if you've done that correctly, now you've got that cool looking funky logo happening there. So we can do a few things in here. We can change the depth if you want. You can make it really thick if you like. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just actually gonna put the depth to zero, all right? And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna change the uh, rotation to front. And that's it for this uh, side of things as well. I'm probably actually just gonna change the color to, maybe I'm just going to go to like a little bit a little bit gray, All right? You don't really see too much of it there, but the, the color scheme that we're gonna be using is gonna be from Color Hunt. So I'm gonna match it with this uh, background as well. So once we have that, the next thing that we need to do is we need to go into the material. So make sure you select your uh, logo. And then what we need to do is we're just gonna bring down the roughness to one and increase the metallic. And you can see now it's got, you know, it's looking a little, little bit bubble-like. And that looks pretty cool. And there's this button over here, render with ray tracing. Now this takes a little bit of time depending on your computer, but once you do this, you will see this is the kind of final effect and it adds everything and more detail in there. So I'm just gonna take that off for now. I'm just gonna go into the lighting and I'm just gonna play around with some of the lighting to get it to where I like. So maybe I'm gonna have it maybe somewhere like that. I'm also gonna increase the light intensity gonna bring that up and you know you can play around with other things like the ambient light but I'm not gonna touch pretty much anything else and you can always just double check your work once you put the ray tracing render on so I'm pretty happy with that and that will be a good starting point for our After Effects logo animation so now all we have to do is we have to export this. Now to do that, make sure that your logo is selected and then you can go to file export selection. And when we come down here, what you wanna do is you wanna save it to this format over here, GLTF. 
and then you can save it to wherever you want i'm just putting mine on the desktop and then when you're done all you have to do is press uh, export asset and then we're gonna go and take it into after effects so here we are in after effects and what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new composition i'm gonna go for 1920 by 1080 pixel document 30 fps duration about 10 to 15 seconds just press ok once i have that then what we need to do is we need to import our asset so to do that all we have to do is right click go import file and you can see that the asset is in here so if you just drag that to your timeline now if you zoom in and scale in you can see what we have there so now we've imported our asset and already it looks really really cool and if i just open up the uh, transform properties if i go to the y rotation you can see if I rotate around how it looks. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna animate that. So while we're here, we actually, we might as well do that right now. So I'm just gonna reset that. I'm gonna go to the Y rotation. I'm gonna hit that stopwatch. I'm gonna move to about, let's say five seconds. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna type one in there for one full rotation. And so now you can see it will rotate around and then get back to its, uh, starting point but then we have all this extra time left over so what we're going to do is i'm just going to hold option i'm going to hit that stopwatch then i'm going to write a loop out command so i'm just writing a uh, loop o u and then i'm going to press tab and now if you scrub through you can see it will rotate until the end of that composition so that's pretty cool so now what we need to do is we need to add a background so to do that, all we're gonna do is go to right click and go new solid and we're just gonna call it BG. I'm gonna put that at the bottom. We're gonna search for an effect here called gradient ramp. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go back to color hunt and I'm gonna choose this really dark gray out of this color palette. And I'm gonna go back in here and I'm just gonna change the white area over here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change it to a radial ramp. And I'm gonna click the start of the ramp. I'm gonna put it in the center. And then the end of the ramp, I'm gonna put it on this side over here. So it's got that kind of look. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna swap the colors so it's darker on the outside. It kind of creates a vignette kind of look. So uh, by all means, you can play around with that as much as you want, but totally up to you. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to add some effects to this. So if I click on my asset and then if I go to layer pre-compose and let's just call this uh, logo and we'll just press OK. Now I can start to add some effects to this. So the first effect that I want to add to here is glow. And already just by adding the default glow without changing anything, you can see what is actually happening here. And honestly, that looks amazing already but i am going to change a little bit of this so i'm just going to increase the threshold to 100 i'm going to increase the glow radius to about 50 and i'll leave the intensity at one so by all means play around with some of the glow settings as well the next thing that i'm going to do is i'm just going to add a curves effect to this so i'm just going to drop this side down a bit and then i'm just going to bring up this just so you know that the blacks look a little bit more intimidating and it looks pretty cool i think just like that now you can go crazy here and just keep adding effects but i'm not going to add too many effects the next effect that i am going to add is a tiny bit of drop shadow so you can leave the default settings but i'm just going to push it out maybe i don't know to about 30 or something like that um and just increase the softness maybe to about 20, something like that. So now we have a small shadow that goes along with it. Now, there are many different effects that you can put in here and there's some really cool paid ones like a Deep Glow would work uh, really nice or there are some Red Giant effects like uh, Ecto, which uh, creates the, the border around. Um, so have a look at those if you uh, have access to them. But for now, I think that's looking pretty cool. So now all we have to do is just kind of tie it all together. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create an adjustment layer and I'm gonna search for the effect called noise and I'm just gonna bump that up to probably about 10%. And when we pull all of that together, now we have our cool spinning 
logo that we created in Illustrator. We inflated it in Illustrator and then we took it back to After Effects and we were able to do some really simple things to create something that looks pretty cool like that. So anyways guys, that's it for this quick short tutorial on how to get a 3D looking logo from Illustrator and then make it rotate in Adobe After Effects. I hope you guys learned something. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.